surprisingly, considering I went to bed at 11, I'm all right. I think it's because I'm filming this video. If I wasn't filming it, I would have snoozed that alarm. I told Alexa to stop, continue sleeping, but no, I'm going to do a couple of things, which I always rush normally. So one thing, I'm going to read the Bible, then I'm going to meditate, and then we can start our day from there. So yeah, let's do it. honest with you that felt lovely like lovely i haven't meditated in like three years like i never meditate but that was nice and i had time like i'm not in a rush now i'm going to plan the rest of my day on my laptop now that i've planned everything that i want to do for today i'm going to start on one of the tasks that i want to accomplish editing my hard drive so every time i buy a new hard drive i always have to format it <laughs> So the hard drive is still sending over the video. I'm now going to work out and then after that probably go for a walk. <laughs> Now, working out has probably become a crucial thing, not even crucial, I'm not gonna lie, it's just become part of my daily habits, but if you're watching this and you don't even work out, it's fine, like, go for a walk, like, you don't need to do anything, just know, me working out doesn't mean that I'm healthy, it doesn't mean I don't eat junk food, it doesn't mean any of that. I personally only do it because I think it just passes time or it just makes me feel better in the morning I finished my workout I don't know how I feel like normally when I wake up around 8 I would end up working out at 10 30 and by then I'm like fully awake not that I was a half asleep but I was just quite tired it was still a good workout but like I put like 50% into it so yeah the time is now 04 I'm going to go for a walk around 6 30 First of all, it's so cold. It's so cold. This has been the first morning. I can't believe I'm awake. I would actually recommend the Wake Up To Money podcast. This has been day number one. I'm gonna continue my day on and just do everything. But yeah, let's go to day two. Alexa. Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. Okay, we have an issue. And welcome to day two. At 3.45, I had a little kerfuffle with Alex. I did my usual. Listen to the Bible for just seven pounds. Alexa! Stop! Listen to the Bible Alexa. for just Anyways, good morning. And the one I did this morning was actually really lovely. So I will leave the link for it in the description box because I'd actually really recommend it. It was called 10 Minute Morning Guided Meditation for Positive Energy. I gotta 
tell you something I could do I could be running or I'm chasing you But I won't Cause I got better, better things to do Rather spend my precious time Chasing somebody who loves me too 6.15 and I just finished all my, well not all my reading but I finished a chapter I was supposed to read. I'm going to get ready I'm going to go for a walk at 6.30 I feel really tired like I think it's the reading Time I asked you stay You would sleep right next to me tonight you didn't me I have like <sighs> You know there's just something about the silence which is so satisfying for me Yeah I'm on my walk It was really good. It was very weight heavy. I don't know what's the word, but I used the weights. It was good. I felt energized. The walk was good too. I'm gonna go shower and then make some breakfast. Oh. ready to start my day i've had my breakfast i've worked out i've done the reading and i still have a lot of work to do today i also have a class later on which i don't think i need to prepare for that's been this morning i feel really happy i'll see if this continues for the rest of the day and i will see you tomorrow morning at 3 45. A revolutionary. I get that back. Can you hear me? Because I can't hear myself. Too loud, honey. Okay, it's 5.38. I've been here since 4.30 editing. I had a really slow start to this morning. Like a really, really slow start. I am a lot more revived. I didn't turn the camera on before just because I was not in the mood to. 5.41, I'm going to keep editing until 6.30 and then I'm going to go for a walk. I can take you anywhere, I can take you home I just wanna be there so you never feel alone I know how it feels to be lost inside this world Don't give up, don't give up, no. I can take you right, So I am now at a park I mean it's not a park, it's a field but it's a field near my house. I've been on my walk for about 7.46, so it's been like just an hour. My walk home won't take that long. I, I normally come here during summer, I can't say the word, but last summer when we were still in, in the morning, it would be so nice. There would be a really nice sunrise. Yes, I do appreciate waking up early. I wouldn't have time to come here and actually enjoy the view, the air. When I get back, I know I have a lot of work to do today, but yeah. I'm glad I've been able to get this I in. Know that we'll make it out. Good morning and welcome to day four. So this morning I woke up stretched a little bit and then got straight to the usual routine which is reading the Bible and also meditating which I did for about 10 to 15 minutes. And like always I will link all the meditations I did down below. So after that I then got out my planner and started planning out what I do for today. And so after planning, it was then time to work out. So today I did two leg workouts because it was leg day. So I did one workout by Mad Fit and the second workout that I did was by Chloe Ting. Okay, 
so it's now nearing 5.30 I've just come off the treadmill I was on there for about 20 minutes so now I'm going to do work for an hour and then possibly head back out for a walk I'm gonna get my property law questions done for my class next week <laughs> If it is not evident already, I clearly spend all of my time mainly doing work because the workload is actually a lot, but that was what I was doing this morning. I was answering some more class questions for my class the next week after. So I'm done with my class questions now. It's 6 13 and I always give myself an hour, so 5 30 to 6 30 for all my modules. In the next 15 minutes, I do want to go for a walk, but I'm going to go for a walk on the treadmill until 7 and then once it's 7 and it's a bit lighter outside I'm gonna go so for the next 15 minutes I'm gonna edit and then get back on the treadmill and then shower like I feel gross like I would have wanted to do my skincare after but because I knew I needed to do my work and then go back for a walk I didn't but after that I'm gonna shower I'm out now. I started the walk with my mum and then I went off a different way. Don't take it personal. I ain't lying. I ain't hiding. I've been grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. Always posting up pictures, trying to look like you winning. Now for breakfast this morning, I was having oats with protein powder and some granola, as well as some strawberries too. I gotta tell you something I could do. I've made my breakfast. It was actually 8.51 and I've got a bunch of work to do. I'm gonna do that for the rest of today. See how I feel and then I will see you guys tomorrow at 3.45 welcome to day five everyone so we made it to day five i started my day off by reading the bible like usual then i got out some matches and lit a candle i only do like candles in the morning though just because i'm that type of person to actually fall asleep and just forget to put them out new to my channel I am a first year law student hence why a lot of my time is spent reading like textbooks cases so they do take a long time but that's why I spend most of my time reading I'm the new CNN yeah. Drippin' Well, they got the TikTok missing It's pimpin' Broke niggas got me livin' Personally, going on walks has become one of my favourite things ever probably during both lockdowns i'm so grateful and appreciative of the nature the scenery around me so even if you don't have this i would suggest go for a walk after you've watched this video or go for a walk tomorrow morning or this evening <laughs> So 
I know this has probably been a very long video. I'm not going to lie, it was hard, like it was. It was actually, it was, it was quite hard. It was. I feel like before all of this, before like filming this video, I was just, I was just, <laughs> I was just waking up like it was no one's business. Anyone in my family sort of knows that I'm a morning person. Like everyone knows I'm a morning person. Like I'll happily wake up. Everything going on just meant that like with uni being online, it's just so much harder to like want to do things and want to go for walks or do exercise like just simply doing your work like a chore and especially like there's no change in environment at all like i'm always at home unless i go out i'm always i'm literally always at home and i'm always on my computer having to do work having to do uni having to read books and it's actually a lot like the more i think about it it is a lot and i feel like if i'm, I'm not I'm, I'm not feeling like anyhow about it Doing this video has made me appreciate like everything much more. There might not ever be a time again for me to, to have this much free time, even though it's consumed with uni work. Like, I think I'm doing all right. And so I'm finally back from my walk. I got back like around 8.30, showered, got myself ready. And because I felt like I, not that I've done so much this morning, but I've done so much this week. I felt like, let me just dress up a little bit. I didn't dress up, I'm wearing a black top, that's it. That has been me waking up at 3.45 a.m. for a week. Will I be doing this again? I'm not too sure. I'm gonna go through the pros and cons of this whole thing, but let's get into the pros. So the pros would be that I get so so much done so much done in one day i got the majority of my work done before 12. i wasn't in a rush pro number two is that i got to see the sunrise the days that i'd go for walks and oh i just loved it like i've basically been on a walk every day this month which i'm really happy about pro number three was that i was at peace with myself so i normally do read the bible every morning but when i do do it or in the way i wake up before i'm always like rushing like i'm acting as if i have things to be doing which i do but it's still important to me and i'd like to do it without feeling like there's any pressure so that felt pretty good too like skincare for example for this past month i have not been able to do my skincare but i remember on day four in the evening like i'd done all my work so early that i was able to put some skincare on con number one is that i was tired <laughs> Like, I got a lot done but I was tired every time it hit like 1 to 2 p.m. I just felt an energy level drop like I'd be doing work and I'm just like oh my god like I'm about to pass out the other con is now this isn't a con it's like related to the first one but I took naps like and I don't do naps naps like they irritate me for some reason like I hate I can never but I just kept falling asleep around 6 p.m. even if I'm sitting on my desk or I'd have a class in an hour's time I will take that nap because I just needed it because I was so tired so that's sort of interlinked with the first con but will I be doing this again I will definitely be waking up earlier than 8 a.m. that I used to I think 3 45 is a bit excessive for me but I did get a lot done so I would probably switch it to like five I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you liked it make sure to like comment share and subscribe comment down below any videos you'd like to see from me and it's been your girl praise and i will see you next week with another video bye go 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 shorty it's your birthday we're gonna party like it's your